in the room, obviously you can hear me, I'm just trying on different things. <gasps> this is it. This is what I would wear. By the way, hi. Um, it is dark, cloudy, rainy in New York today. A typical British day outside. Even though um, we're starting to slowly think about spring. I know it's only February, but we're starting to already in our inboxes get flashes of ideas for spring, what's coming for next season, what are we already thinking of, we're slowing down on buying stuff for like winter. I thought, let me do a video basically about what I have been doing to sort of implement spring-ish like touches, you know what I mean? Like you can still, you're still wearing like your colder weather stuff because it's still cold out, but you're having the odd day where it's a bit mild out and just mentally you just want to wear something that's feeling a little bit more spring-like. So using your wardrobe, but just tweaking it slightly so it's a little bit of a nod to spring. The kind of pieces that I call nod-worthy outfits. Okay, so the first up is what I'm in. Now, this is, um, you've already seen this blouse before. You already know about this blouse from last year, Lily Silk, almost a year ago actually. And I just love this the color. The color of it is just, it's so good. This is such a, it's such a gorgeous, it's beautiful. If it's still available, I'm gonna link it for you below. So, um, I thought instead of wearing like a jumper, or in America you say um, sweater, I would wear this instead, right? So I'm just wearing a pair of, you know, denim jeans. These ones are from And Other Stories. They are a charcoal pay, a pair of paper bag. Charcoal pair of paper bag. Wow, try and say that three times fast. But um, paper bag waist jeans where they kind of like cinch you in, high waisted, has its own self tie. Side note, I've been looking for jeans that aren't like the usual, just like faded, straight cut, you know, high waist zip up or button up. I just wanted something different. Even trousers I'm sort of experimenting with a bit more. Something that's alternative to normal blue jeans. So this to me, just fits that just perfectly. It's denim, it's still a jean, but it's not the usual, right? It's almost like a trouser-like feel to it. So I got these, um, and I love this charcoal color to them, because it's, again, it's not blue. So again, it takes it one step away from feeling too denim-like. And I like this combination. Now, this is the color combination that I also think works, because I usually tell you how blues and browns work together, because they they always do. It's a, it's a rule I've implemented throughout my Instagram, it's just one of those things I always do. You lot have been telling me that you've been doing it as well. But greys, like darker charcoal greys and navies, like this sapphire, um, yeah, like a sapphire blue. God, this jewel tone, I'm so obsessed with jewel tones. These two colors just work beautifully together. So dark blues, like navies with a grey, amazing and different shades of them this could be lighter this could be darker and vice versa anyway so i thought this would be a nice way to sort of do a nod to when it's getting a little bit not even it could be getting warmer necessarily but the daylight is starting to last a bit longer in new york it used to be pitch black by four now i'd say about half five is when it gets dark or half five quarter to six i'm literally i'm watching on a week by week basis to see the change that's my nod. So I'm wearing jeans for the practicality and I'm wearing this because I want to get that spring feel into my wardrobe. I want to do it now. So that is my, <laughs> so that's my nod to doing it. And then, oh, you can't see my feet. Hold on, let me just change the camera so you can see. Hold on, hold on. And on my feet, I've got good sort of classic mensy type of brogues. Um, I love a good mensy Oxford. That's just my thing. I've always been into a good side of type of a brogue. And I feel like these are still got, I love a chunky shoe at the same time because you know how I love my Doc Martens. So this sort of bridges the gap between wearing a Doc Martin and wearing a brogue at the same time. These are by Prada, but you do not have to, I know, I, I, I did it, I went, I saw them, I was like, oh, God, don't do it, Karen, do not do it. And I did it, I, I did it. Let's just say it was my Christmas gift. Anyway, sod it, I'm not gonna use any kind of justification. But there's so many good brogues out there. My God, I have um, vintage ones that have been in my wardrobe, men's, literally they're men's ones, and I've had them in my wardrobe for at least five years, and I will not get rid of them. Even if I purge clothes, I purge shoes, I do not get rid of those brogues because they are everlasting. Because this is quite feminine, I like the idea of sort of contrasting it with the tomboyness feel of the brogues. Doing a little bit of a hint 
towards the spring season, but I'm still grounding it in stuff which is very practical to wear for right now and it's a bit cooler. And then, um, oh, I'm just thinking what kind of outerwear, hold on, hold on. I would probably, because I'm wearing dark clothes, I would contrast it with, I think, so it's something a bit more, you see, because it's that nod again, Oh, bag, hold on, wait, the bag. See, this is the Mark Cross Grace Kelly bag, the one that I found from, gosh, I found this from eBay, pre-loved, about ooh, three years ago, maybe four now. All right, so that is look one. That is basically my, what I call, nod-worthy kind of idea of what I would wear when it feels like I wanna start wearing stuff for spring, but it's still a bit chilly outside, but, but damn it, I'm gonna find a way to make it work. So now I'm gonna show you the next one. <laughs> Okay, so I know I'm moving, I'm shifting the background slightly because the light is getting a little bit darker. Like I thought I would show to you that to me is all about, it's still cold outside, but damn it, I want to wear something that feels like spring. And it is probably the simplest of outfits that I would wear and you would wear, and I'm sure a lot of you already do. This is not a rocket science outfit by any means. It is wearing a jumper and you can already see what's underneath. In the background, it is my gold, skirt this oh god the skirt this liquid gold thrifted from the street skirt this is also thrifted i found this in a where did i find this i think i found this at l train vintage second hand no relation on first avenue in new york city so um yeah i like it because it's just like i love a fisherman knit they're one of my favorites as i've said before oh god there's a hole right there oh god let's pretend that's not there yeah, i just think they're just so look at that look at the sleeve the detail that's around the back and this is probably one of the easiest looks that you can do when it is cool outside and then you still want to start wearing things which are a little bit springy because you're just you're done with being all like bundled up and stuff you still can be warm, but you can still slowly transition a little bit anyone who's an og subscriber just bear with me, I'm telling anyone who's new to my channel, hi by the way, if you're new, um, this skirt has a story to it. I was walking down, this, I have to say, this woman was sitting cross-legged uh, in front of a pile of clothes that she was selling on a blanket on the sidewalk, and I saw this flash of gold in the heap of clothing, and I slowly pulled it out, and it was this! I couldn't, I could not believe my eyes. Um, it is Holston as well, Holston Heritage, I think, so, I don't know how much this would have normally cost, but it is, it's liquid, it's liquid gold, the skirt. It's absolutely amazing. Um, layer underneath, tights, double up your tights. That's also a good tip. Or wear a pair of like, I always recommend them, the Heat Tech Uniqlo Heat Tech leggings. I have a pair, Michael's got a pair. They are gold. They really do keep you warm. You know, something like this, you're not bare leg. And then, yeah, so you'll be good to go. So this is what I would suggest wearing as, in fact, it's not even suggest, I am going to wear this. Let me just put on my boots so I can show you exactly what I would wear this with. So hold, hold on a second. The old, as you like, Balenciaga boots. Now, I've had these boots. I mean, who doesn't know these by now? They're cut out boots. And I thought just the fact that they're cut out are a good transitional boot to wear because they walk that line between being winter-ish, but the end of winter, but perfect to sort of go into spring. So that right, that dip, between winter and spring. These to me are like really nice going between boots. I love the oversizedness of the jumper. I even like the fact that the sleeves are actually quite big. And so if you turn them up here, that sort of adds to that chunky feel. Like you borrowed it from someone and because it's so big, you have to, you know, fold up the sleeve so it fits you. That whole kind of chunky vibe and oversizedness, that is what this kind of fisherman knit represents. And it's one of those things that will forever be in my particular wardrobe. But this is a nice, like I said, go between when it's still cooler, but you want to, damn it, I want to wear something spring like I'm so tired of wearing like the same old crap. This is what you can easily do. You probably have something similar in your wardrobe. It could be a satin skirt. Drum roll, please. I would go with, I don't even want to say it. You know what coat this is, right? Oh, God. <laughs> this is the magic coat. Look how good that 
that looks. It instantly makes this look so chic. This camel coat is amazing. It's just, it's, it is really, it is, it's good. I'm not even asking, I don't need to ask you. This is a flipping good, this camel coat will forever be, right? It's one of those, this is a Hall of Fame piece. Look how nice this looks, the whole combination with this gold and the cream and the camel. Oh, this is a men's uh, camel coat that I found in a thrift shop. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's in perfect condition. And this was a labor of love finding this coat and it was, boy, was it worth it to have found it. By the way, this is also a men's as well. I love, as you know, shopping in the men's section. So these pieces are just brilliant. And then, um, okay, so a bag. This is why we go with them. I, ugh, I would go with this. This is the JW, yeah, I'd go with the JW Anderson bag that a lot of you got as well which is still just so good i love this i love this bag i think it was only like how much was it because a lot of you got it as well 20 dollars 30 30 it was less than 50 dollars i think it was so inexpensive anyway it just looks so much more expensive doesn't it look at that look at that finish hold on let me go even closer that and i removed the strap and i put on the um kate kate strap this one is in a leopard yeah, it's like a leopard print with like pony hair. Like you can, you can sit there on the tube and just do this. Like going to your next station, next stop, and just do this. Because it's got like, there's literally this hair on it, it's textured. So I loved this kind of brown with this, you know, with the brown of the croc. But this, see this together, hold on. I would probably, let me think, which way? Yeah, go in like that, put this first, and wear this crossbody, and then, this on top and see see how this looks together yeah this is it I love this this is together so that's the whole look I really look how rich and luxe this bag with the strap looks or just the bag alone looks but then with the camel coat and look how the peak lapels this is just such I'm looking at the monitor that's why I keep looking over there. But it's just so smart. <sighs> yes. Let's see, probably. I love it. This, and have this like that. These you can find everywhere on Etsy. You've got like the boots. Yeah, this is great. All right, so my third look for when it's like I want to wear something that's warm but still transitioning to spring a bit is. Oh, this piece right here, oh my gosh, I'm talking about this jumper, but the two together, I really like these kind of like primary colors. Um, this jumper you saw in last week's video, it is like a cornflower electric blue. It's coming out a little bit faded, but it's, in real life, it's more kind of electric. And it's the sleeves, this is what really got me. Puffs, because they're kind of like oversized, but you can still, on the sleeve, you can just do this. So. It's just like that as well, completely like covering your hands, right? So I just loved that versatility of it. This, this was gifted to me from, I think they're called Me and M, Me and M. I'll put it on the screen for you and I'll link them below. I thought, why not? Why the hell not team it with these um, fantastic pants? The, God, the canary yellow brightness of these pants is just, oh God, they're so, they're so bright. They are, I know. They're unapologetically bright and I love that. These are Rachel Comey from the sample sale. I just, oh, this is so good. They are just, look, first of all, the pockets are really deep. Hold on. You can't see this properly. Let me just come down a bit so you can really see this. Okay, so yeah. All right, that's slightly better. A bit high waisted, so they kind of go out and then in to your waist. And then if I come in closer, you can see, look at that stitch detail there. You can see like the stitch detail there. Um, just really a great pan. And here's like the pockets, like they're right here. And you can see the stitching as well, like I told you before. But I love these. I thought it's such a real comfortable pair of trousers to wear. And like I said, I picked them up from the uh, sample sale at Rachel Comey. This was last year, around, I don't know, October-ish. I went with um, Tara, Tara Mars. I feel a bit oversized, so I don't feel like, you know, I'm really like stuffed in these. I haven't got my shoes on yet. 
right? It's really like a generous shape. They're kind of like, they go in at the waist and they kind of like just go out. So I thought it was fantastic. And I thought it was a, such a fun pairing to wear these two together. And I thought just to be really fun, instead of anchoring it with black, because I'm going with the deliberate look of wearing like two really bright primary colors, I thought I would put on the um, chunky sneakers, bottle sort of outfit. So that's why I went with this whole look together. Um, yeah, so yeah, I just thought this was like a really interesting take on wearing something that's like really sort of warm, um, it's comfortable, but it screams spring at the same time, and I know it does. These pants alone scream spring, and especially when you add in the jumper as well, it really does. It's all about wearing something really, really bright. I could go with like a, a gray, you know what I mean? Like I've got this long gray, and I love the idea of just wearing a really long coat like this. And yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's, it's so, so bright, obviously wearing something like this, but it's just, oh God, I just love it. Okay, bag, you're probably thinking, Karen, yeah, but what bag would you wear? Bag-wise, I'd probably go with the Mark Cross bag. This I got from uh, their sample sale. Look how that looks with the grey, right? That looks, that looks so... I love when colours make other colours really, like, stand out. So, yeah, I love... Look at that. That looks... Hold on, wait. Now, let's see. God, it looks... God. Look how good... This is... Oh, this is... Oh, this is good. I, like, I really like this. Um, let me turn to face the light a bit better now. There, look at that. I really, oh, I really like this now. Oh, this is everything. And you just got like the flash. That, wow, that is so neon bright. But that is so unexpected. But that to me is such a refreshing sort of spring look. Look at those pants. They're so bright. God, I need to wear this, look. Because they're so giant, I'm playing to that. Look, completely through, and so you've just got that very colourful look going on. Yeah, I love, I love these colours together. All Converse high tops, those would have worked here as well. Oh God, this is great, I love this. I really like this look together. This is, this is great, sorry. This is, this is, this is good. This, this is good. It's still cool, you know, but we still need to wear our coats or a jacket or our jumpers. But at the same time, you want to get a little kind of, you want to scratch that flipping spring itch. You want to do it from now. These are the kind of outfits that I would start to wear and I hope that you get ideas. If you are throughout this video, by, by the way, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I like to always try and give you lot ideas of what to wear. So if you've been watching week after week, make it official, subscribe to my channel so you are now a member of the Karen Brit Chick. What? I don't want to say club. That sounds so stupid. You're officially like a part of this community, which is what I feel that I've built or am building, whether it's on my YouTube or on my Instagram or actually a bit of both. And this is... Right, I've got to stop feeling myself. I'm going to put on the next look. I'm sure you lot have seen this before. This is the infamous Zara dress. As food baby friendly as you want it to be. It's just skims. It just skims. That's, it's, a, it's a skimmer. Um, and then the slightly like puff sleeves. You know, it's like a grown up baby doll dress. Um, so I teamed it with the Zara boots. You already know about these. Yeah. You want to wear a bit of spring, which is this dress but you got to sort of slightly winterize it or, yeah, slightly winterize it. So for me, I actually wore this look that I'm putting together for you. The only difference is I wore Uniqlo Heat Tech leggings underneath. Sort of winterize it further. Hold on, I'm showing you. I teamed it with this extremely warm Isabel Morant coat, which you guys have already seen before, but this thing, it's just so warm. And I like the idea of wearing this because it's a very cocooned shape. So it's not squashing the dress, the on the bag. Bag wise, I went with the, oh, I just realized something I also wore. Oh, it's gonna make the outfit. Oh, bloody hell, hold on, hold on a second. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I had to go and grab it because it was part of the look. So I went out wearing, like I said, I went out wearing this, because you can't even see me, hang on. Ah, oh, that's good enough. Yeah, so I had this on, and then I took, like I said, the red bag, 
I, this is the vintage coat um, bag, gigantic sort of hobo style. It's quite large, but I didn't mind because usually I go for a really tiny bag. But I don't know, I was just feeling like I wanted a trough bag, a feed bag. So I just kept this sort of oversized look for everything. And then I teamed it with the acne scarf, which I'm only going to keep on for a bit because it's absolutely, it's just baking in here. It's actually shooting street style and I was wearing this article, but I still want to feel a bit of spring. And to me, this adorable baby doll dress is that, but I didn't want to wait. You know, I don't want to. I want to wear these things now. And I know this probably doesn't look very good together, but honestly, it's just, I, I love this look. It's just like the whole sort of play on the two checks, which I think I've shown before in another video. And I went back to it because I really like it. It's very me, it's very Karen. And yeah, I was just like this. I was just, yeah, with my hand in my pocket, I was just that. That's what I was doing, I was walking down the street like this. Like this dress, which normally you may not think of or consider wearing because it's cooler. But so what? I want to wear something that's a little bit spring. Give it to me now. Easy to do. I feel like a schoolgirl. Next look. <laughs> okay, so another look I had in mind is something I've actually already shown on my Instagram. Um, I know it was on my Instagram stories. Yes, it was. This was last week because I went to, like I said before, the Van Manhattan Vintage Show. It goes on twice a year, every year, spring and then around spring and then around fall time. This was something that I wore to go for it and um, I just really like the kind of, I don't know, I just was feeling doing something, maybe not literally wearing vintage, but just to have like a vintage inspired kind of look. I wanted something that still felt a little bit springy but was still practical to wear at the same time. So I thought I should show on this video. This is from Everlane. This is their cashmere polo neck. I've talked ad nauseum about these bloody polo necks. I mean, I've been wearing these for so long. You usually see me in the black one. Pew, pew, pew. But um, I also loved this color as well. So this comes in loads of colors. Um, these are and other stories. And I saw them, these were gifted to me. And also this was as well, full disclosure. And I instantly just saw these and thought, I love those, those look like fun. But I love the cut of them. They're high waisted, but the pattern screams a little bit nod towards vintage. Team it with a color like this. Actually, no, this outfit is wrong. I did not wear this color, but this color does look good. I did not actually wear the orange. I wore black. Yeah, I wore the black Everlane. Wow, I can't believe I put this on, but you know what? Sod it, now I've got this on. Let's just see, what would I wear? Hold on, I know exactly if I was to wear this combination, I know exactly what I'd wear, hold on. Stay there, I am here. I'm sure you can hear me still. I just wanted to figure out what I would wear with it. So, oh, hang on, no, I'm not gonna wear this. Sorry, I had, I had something on and it didn't work. This looks so much better. Hold on, I am in the room. Obviously, you can hear me. I'm just trying on different things. <gasps> this is it. This is what I would wear. Green. <laughs> this green vintage trench coat, which I think you lot have seen before. Uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> yes, I just made an outfit. I made an outfit. I haven't worn yet, but I obviously will. Oh, I just want to do this. Because this is long, I just want to do that and just walk like that. Anyway, so this is what I would wear <laughs> if I was, um, if I actually did pair this with this, I would wear um, this with it. Wait, <gasps> now I remember. Oh, I tell you, what is wrong with me? My brain, my brain has gone. I know exactly what I would wear. You know what? I actually didn't wear, the <laughs> I'm all over the place. I just remembered how exactly I did wear this and this, because I did go out one day and I didn't wear it with this either, but this does work together. I'm actually gonna put on the screen because I can't be asked to get changed again, because I'm going to get changed again. So on the screen, you will see how I actually wore this and this together, right? So it's gonna be here, so you can see. 
that is how I actually wore this together. Um, it's come back to me now. Black leather, vintage um, thrifted coats, like a half coat from the men's section. Love that. Um, I think it was as cheap as chips as well. And I wore it with the, the Gucci bag as well. So that was what I originally had these two things on with. Mm -mm. I quite like the twist of adding it just with this because the green with the oh this look at this standing here next to this amazing mirror god this looks so good and if you're wondering about the mirror just check last week's video and you'll see exactly how and where this was found the story behind this amazing mother of pearl ridiculousness this this actually looks good this looks great this is so good to green which is amazing with this this looks so rich on camera doesn't it I tell you, I'm, I'm feeling myself literally in front of you all right hold on so what am I, I'm confused what am I supposed to be doing oh hang on so okay so this is a look and then the Instagram look which you saw how I really paired these two you're probably so flipping confused but hold on let me stop nattering and showing you how I originally had worn this to the vintage show hold on Karen is not confused anymore <laughs> This is actually what I had on for going to the vintage show. It was the black Everlane, <laughs> black Everlane um, polo neck with the end of the stories kind of vintage looking um, trousers. And I have my docks on and then the Zara bag, which I think is now in every single video. And this amazing jacket, which is leather. And it is, God, isn't it good though? which is uh, from Rixo. Rixo really very kindly gifted this. I cannot believe that Rixo, a brand that I have really loved, they asked if there was anything that I was interested, interested in and I saw this jacket and I said, I love this jacket. And they said yes. Um, the collar and the flower details are suede. It's just so nice. And it's got like, the same flower kind of repetition on the sleeves so vintage but it's not so and I loved that it was nice to just wear sort of contemporary pieces but make them look like they're from a different time um, like tights underneath like I've said before just to keep it a little bit warmer or heat tech leggings like I said before anything just to put another layer under this and you'll be you'll be good to go but this combination I oh <laughs> I love this so I love this. I'll add on a black puffer, like a, this sort of length here, and, and that was what I wore on top just to go to the show. But you know, that's how I was dressed. And then when I got there, they had coat check. So I took off the puffer, and this is what I was wearing underneath. So that was how I was walking around the, uh, the vintage show. But this is just such to me a great, great look with the puffer, obviously, for if you want to wear something that's still. You want to get, like I said, you want a bit of spring in your wardrobe now, in your outfits, but you want to do it in a way that's practical. You can still walk around wearing it and stop feel like an idiot. Feel like, oh, look at her wearing like the bright yellow dress. It's not that time yet, you know, but sod that. If I want to wear, actually, do I own, actually, I actually do own bright yellow dresses. But the point is, um, I'm going to be leaning back here. The point is you're wearing, you're wearing whatever the hell you want to. Um, and it's seasonless you know to me <laughs> here comes the robot move i feel like style is is almost seasonless it's it's timeless yes but when i say seasonless seasonless i mean in that it crisscrosses over right thumbs up if you understand if you if you resonate with what i'm trying to say um you don't have to wear this in the spring or this in the summer or uh, the boots in the winter or you wear whatever you want and you just make it work you tweak it and make it work that is what I try and tell you a lot about on this channel and I hope that you get inspired when I do those episodes of what people are wearing in, in New York everyone wearing in New York it's about that same ethos I'm looking at people who who are somehow tweaking and putting and mixing together things and they come up with something that's then boom it's got their stamp on it and that's how i feel about when i make this channel i want it to be inspiring you 
to come up with whatever you want. Get inspired by it so that you can go like, okay, I don't have this Rixo jacket, but I do have a white jacket that I could maybe work. Or, or I do have a pair of like loudish pants or pair that I have pants that I really love. I wear them on holiday normally. No, sod it. Why not wear them right now with a pair of ankle boots? Do you understand? It's just the, it's the examples that I'm giving you. It's, it's the inspiration. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And that's what I hope that you get when I make these videos because you can wear pieces from that would normally be in spring and you wear them in winter and vice versa so and i think that often makes it much more interesting so anyway i'm going to stop waffling wow i really talked a lot um but if you know give this video a thumbs up if you agree with what i'm saying here and leave a comment below on maybe there's things that you wear out of season but you make it work for, for wearing right now because that's what I've been trying to do with this video today. Why not wear them right now? It's not officially spring yet, but so what? Who cares? You can wear them now. Anyway, that is it. That is my lot. I do videos every Friday and you can follow me in between those Fridays on my Instagram, which is Karen Bridget. Every single day I've got an Instagram post up so you can see exactly what I'm wearing. Have a brilliant weekend and I will see you guys next week, Friday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, let's make it official. And I will see you next week. Yeah, I'll see you next week, Friday. <laughs> Bye. Oh, <laughs>